the hellfire is prepared by Allah for those who do not believe in Him. Believe in gods other than Allah, rebel against God's religion and laws, and reject God's message and messengers. The hellfire is also prepared for sinners, criminals, murderers, tyrants, hypocrites, and the proud and the arrogant, the stubborn, the unjust, and all form of evil people. Do they not know whoever opposes Allah and His Messenger, that for him is the fire of hell, wherein he will abide eternally? That is the great disgrace. Islam states one's salvation is based on one's faith in Allah, His Messenger, good deeds, and God's mercy. As a part of the justice of Allah the Almighty, He does not punish anyone or any group of people until He has sent them a messenger, relaying His message and warning the people. It is the nature of God that He does not treat anyone unjustly or unfairly, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. Of the biggest suffering the unbelievers and the evildoers will face is when they come to the realization on the Day of Judgment that they did not follow God's message nor His guidance and have failed thus earning God's wrath. Many of the dwellers of the hellfire will instantly regret the choices they made in their lives and will beg for another chance. The Quran shares a dialogue that will take place between the dwellers of the hellfire and the angel gatekeeper of hell. It almost explodes in rage whenever a group is thrown into it. Its keeper will ask them, did they not come to you a warner? They will reply, yes indeed, a warner did come to us, but we rejected him and said, Allah never sent down any message. You are but lost in a great delusion. And they will add, Had we listened to those warnings, or at least used our reason, we would not now be amongst those who are destined for the blazing flame. Then they will confess their sins, but far will be forgiveness for the companions of the blazing fire. However, no matter how much the sinners beg for forgiveness, it would be too late. The intensity of the hellfire will be so terrifying that people will disown their closest and most beloved people in their lives on the Day of Judgment and flee from them on this great day. But when there comes the deafening blast, on the day a man will flee from his brother and his mother and his father and his wife and his children. For every man, that day will be a matter of adequate for him. Man will be willing to give up everything he holds dearest to him to save himself from the hellfire. A quick dip in the hellfire will have a person forgetting about all the pleasures he or she had in their lifetime. Our prophet narrated, One of the people of the hell who found the most pleasure in life of this world will be brought forth on the day of resurrection, and he will be dipped into the fire of hell. Then he will be asked, O oh son of Adam, have you ever experienced anything good? Have you ever enjoyed any pleasure? He will say no by God, O oh Lord. Whereas there Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.